everyone. Welcome to Slater's Risk Game. Today we're going to do a review of a watch I picked up a couple of months ago. It is called a Nubeo Magellan. Um, and it is model number EMB6024. Now, as far as the uh, Nubeo is a brand I'm just really starting to hear about in the last year. They're a new company based in, out of Switzerland. And all their timepieces are based on sea exploration or space exploration. The word Nubeo is based on the Latin word Nube, N-U-B-E, and Nube is Latin for cloud. So you can kind of see how that ties in together. But yeah, as far as this particular model, now this model here, and you, here's a little card that gives a brief inspiration. I'm not going to read everything, but basically uh, the Magenta spacecraft was launched in 1989 with the sole purpose of mapping the surface of Venus, and it actually mapped 98% of the surface of Venus, so it's a pretty big success and the, uh, the Magellan spacecraft was named in honor of the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan so I think that's pretty uh, cool thing there and so and this watch is also a Mecca quartz watch which I've heard of Mecca quartz didn't know much about it I think they have something that kind of briefly describes Mecca quartz in this uh, in this book here and basically they describe it let me see here well they, they're talking about Mecca quartz but basically, a Mecca Quartz watch, I don't, uh, I think I've, I've, I've found it in here somewhere. But basically, a Mecca Quartz is a watch that is, it has a quartz movement, which is a better operated movement, and they've added a mechanical modular, um, a, 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 a mechanical chronograph module to the quartz movement. So basically, it's kind of like a hybrid movement. It has a quartz movement as its base, and they've added this mechanical chronograph module to it. So I think it's pretty cool, but Mecca Quartz watches tend to be very accurate. So, but anyway, enough about the history of the model and the uh, and the company. Let's just look at the specs of this watch. So this is model number NB six zero two four. This is it uses the movement which is TMI VK sixty seven Quartz Chronograph. It's a Mecca Quartz movement based out of Japan. Uh, as all it, the watch has a forty eight millimeter case. Has a 51 millimeter lug to lug, has a 15.7 millimeter height. The lug width at the top is 26 millimeters and it tapers down to 20 millimeters. Okay, so I love it when any uh, watch bracelet or strap tapers down. This watch does is made with a rubber strap. This watch is also 50 meters water resistant. So this is most chronographs aren't very water resistant. So I wouldn't really go swimming with it. You can probably shower. Or it's probably splash proof, but I wouldn't really take it diving or swimming. Uh, me personally, I paid $200 for this watch. It is MSRP is $875 on a company website. So uh, this is a pretty neat watch. When I look at the dial, it's, it seems very busy. Now the crystal, uh, protecting this dial is a mineral crystal with an anti-reflective coating. You can clearly see Nubeo at the three o'clock position. Have, so there's some new bell branding. You have a date window at the four o'clock position. You had a small seconds hands at the six o'clock position, along with another sub dial at the nine and twelve o'clock. Uh, you have a chronograph hand with a red tip, and you have these skeletonized uh, hands. And the pinion right there in the center it has the new bell logo. So it's pretty. I just like the the, the look of the the dial, and you also have this fixed bezel and this burgundy color of the watch and strap. On the official website, they refer to this as the Blaze model. So on the website, all of their models have a name. So this one is called the Magellan Blaze. It has this burgundy color to it. But let's just look at the chronograph movement. So you really got to press good on the uh, chronograph uh, pusher to get it going. And like I said, this is a quartz watch with a uh, mechanical chronograph module attached to it, a flyback chronograph attached to it. All right, so you see uh, it looks pretty good. You can just stop it and go ahead and reset, and it snaps right back. So I have some chronographs where when you reset it, it slowly goes clockwise around to the 12. This one snaps back counterclockwise to the 12, but pretty pretty good-looking uh, watch. With a, well, there is a functional chronograph. I do like this dome, the mineral crystal. Um, I just like uh, the aesthetics of this watch. You look at the side here, you see the two pushers for the chronographs, and you see this sign 
uh, screw down crown with the Nobeo logo. On the other side of the watch here, you see Nobeo on the side of the case with these screws on the side of the case. You also got some exposed screws and other parts of the case as well. Look at this uh, strap here. It is a rubber strap and has nine holes in the strap. So th this watch will accommodate a lot of different wrist sizes. So a lot of people can wear this watch. On the other strap, you see there's the two keepers. And you got this sign buckle with the Nobeo logo on there. And when you look at the case back, base is always a lot of information on the case back. You see that there's a Mecca Quartz uh, the model number, which is NB6024. This is a limited edition model with 396 out of 400. You do see this diagram of the Magellan Space Probe, which I think is pretty cool. Always, and it is a screw down case back. So, actually, uh, you know, like I say, I like a lot of things about this watch. I picked it up mainly because of the aesthetics, and I think it was pretty unique to have this Chernobyl shape uh, watch in the collection. But yeah, I like it. Uh, the watch is very comfortable on the wrist, and it is a limited edition, and it is based on science and actual history, so I thought it would be just a good addition to the collection. So, I, I do like it pretty much. Uh, right now, at this point, I'm just going to do a wrist shot so you guys can see how it looks on my wrist. Speaking of wrist shots, right now I'm wearing my Casio. This watch is Bluetooth enabled. I'm gonna, I've am gonna i already unboxed it. I'm going to do a review of this one in a couple of weeks. But this is a very comfortable uh, watch I have in my collection too. But I'm going to take this off and do a wrist shot of the new, uh, new Bell so you guys can see how it looks on the wrist. All right, so here is the the watch on the wrist. Just to kind of give a wrist shot of it. Very comfortable, very lightweight. You will actually forget you're wearing this watch. It looks pretty big. Uh, I think a 48 millimeter case is good for somebody with a seven inch wrist or higher. You can actually maybe have a smaller wrist because it does have nine holes and a strap, but I would recommend it for people with a seven inch, uh, inch wrist or higher. But that's it for this review. Uh, thanks for watching. Please continue to comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to bringing you another review soon. All right. Thanks and enjoy your day.